Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a video that I personally love watching. So I decided, hey, why not do one of your own? And that's going to be a luxury bag haul. And I'm not doing this to brag. I'm not doing this for any other reason except for the fact that I watch them a lot and I wanted to do one. So I do realize that I am blessed to have this many bags that a lot of people don't even have this many bags by the time I don't know like a lot of people don't have this many luxury bags in general I just grew up in a family that likes luxury bags so I have luxury bags and I've grown to like luxury bags but anyway with all that being said let's get right into the video so this is not going to be any particular order well actually I lied yes it is going to be in a particular order so I'm going to do it in chronological order so by the first item that I got to like these that you'll see that I'll be unboxing at the end. These are the new ones. I recently, I went a slight Louis Vuitton crazy. So the first bag and I'm not, I think this is my first bag. It's between the first two, but I think this one is my first bag that I ever got. And that is this Burberry bag right here. Um, I don't even know if they make dust. This is my only Burberry bag, so I don't even know that the dust bags are still like this. But I want to say I got this for my 16th birthday. And it's just this Burberry crossbody. It's come in handy um, a lot. It's really big. It can fit a lot of things in it compared to, like, now the mini styles of bags. But um, it's just your basic leather. I don't know what it's called. I'll see if I can figure out what it's called. Um, and if I can, I'll link it, link it down below. Um, or not really link it. Yeah, I'll link it down below if I can find out like the real wheel or um, any of those kind of shops. But it's just your basic canvas with uh, leather, um, little end tabs, and then it has a full leather crossbody strap that is adjustable, which is great. And then it's a zipper bag, which I love. And then the inside is just uh, cloth lined or cotton lined, I don't know. And it has one zipper pouch. Oh. It has one zipper pouch and it has like a, another pouch, like a cell phone pouch. What you will notice is I do have a lot of things in here. So I guess I have this bag when I was in London because here's a map of the, and a ticket for the Tower of London. And then a still life card, which is from the college that I went to. It's one of the clubs there. So this is, I think is my first luxury bag. So my next one, when I was debating if this, I got this for my 16th birthday, I think I did. No. Okay, I don't know when I got this bag. I don't know if it was before or after that because I didn't get this for my 16th birthday. I actually got this bag for my 16th birthday. And I know that 100% sure because <laughs> I remember I had to wait to get it. And I, my mom had bought this bag. I had saw it at the Saks in Philadelphia. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love that bag. And she's like, you're going to have to have a full-time job before you even get that bag, Julissa. And then I guess it went on sale or went to the outlet or something happened because Gucci does go on sale. on like a lot of luxury brands. And then she got it for me. And this was definitely for my 16th birthday because I got this when I got my car. And it's just like the classic. I don't carry it that much anymore. Sometimes I'm like, oh, let me carry that bag. But honestly, I don't really carry it that much. But um, it's the hobo style that we all know and love. And then it has, what I really liked about it is it has the silver and the gold hardware. So you can wear it with silver or gold jewelry. I mean, I really don't match my jewelry to my clothes that much, but sometimes I do. I mean, my jewelry to my clothes, my jewelry to my handbag hardware. But sometimes I do. So in those times, I can wear this bag because it has both. And then also for my 16th birthday, I got the matching wallet and this I wore like crazy 
Like this has been through so much compared to that bag. Like I don't even know if they're still the same color anymore. Uh, they kind of are. But this has like been through a lot. Um, I don't even know the name of this bag to be honest. But it has all of these card slots. It has like the checkbook thing I think or the bill holder whatever this is called. It has these slots under here and I loved the wallets that just fold it out and not have like the slits like my favorite style of wallet and I used to love the big wallets too because big bags big wallets and then it just has the coin in the back coin pouch and that is either my first my first two luxury bags then on my 18th birthday me and my mom we went to Paris and what's in Paris, Louis Vuitton. And this is literally a crazy story about how I got this bag. So, I originally wanted the Alma bag. Like, I love the Alma bag, still love the Alma bag. And she's like, we get there and she's like, no, nah, you're not getting the Alma bag. She's like, no, nah, you're not getting it. <laughs> it's too expensive, it's too much, like, it's, she thought it was an old lady bag she was like nah that's not it so I was like okay well what bag am I gonna get so I decided to get the bag that I saw everybody at the airport with and the thing is I love the Damier bean she doesn't like the Damier bean she's like no one even knows that's Louis Vuitton I'm like I know it's Louis Vuitton so what I ended up getting is the Neverpool MM and the monogram canvas with the Vachetta leather, of course, that is now beaten to death because I hate the way, or I did hate the way, now I'm starting to appreciate the way Vachetta looks when you got it because I've been looking at my mom's 30 year Louis Vuitton, 30 year old Louis Vuitton bag my entire life. And that obviously doesn't have the new Vachetta. It's not white, basically. So I was like, wait, it doesn't come like that? She's like, nope, you gotta age it. So I wore this bag like crazy so I can age the machete. And now it's like dark brown. <laughs> it's basically like black because I aged it so quickly. I was like, no, uh, uh I need my bag dark. I wear it all the time. Mom's like, you shouldn't wear that in the rain. I'm like, it's a thousand dollar bag. It can hold up in the rain. <laughs> I'm stupid, but it's okay. I still love this bag. I still wear this bag. I wear it more often now for travel than I do like on the regular to go out but I still do love this bag so much and then what my, my mom really liked the bag was that they told her that you could wear it two ways it's like you could s let me show you so you can carry it as a bag like this and I did do that for a little bit and then I just ended up carrying it as a tote bag now but um yeah so you can wear it the two different ways and that's what really made her like it because it's too, like it because it's two bag in one and I'm just like just give me the bag I like the bag it's cute but one other perk about this bag is that it comes with a little pochette and I carry this pochette everywhere even with this bag without this bag I always carry this little pochette because it has all of my thousand of gift cards and like rewards cards and business cards and everything in there health insurance cards all of it's in this thing so I just carry this everywhere with me I just pop it in whatever purse that I'm carrying it carrying at the moment as long as it can fit and if not I just don't carry it because these are all my extra cards next bag that I got was for my 20th birthday and that is this bag so we went back to Paris we went to Paris and London the next time and I got this bag which I adore still didn't get the Alma the Alma still couldn't be gone because <laughs> the Alma is still an old lady bag so um, I got this and I got the speedy 30 bandolier bandolier took French I still don't know what how to say it but the one with the strap so it comes with this strap that's adjustable which is nice um you just hook it on just hook it on like that 
and you can wear it crossbody. It's a pretty large crossbody bag, but you can still wear it crossbody, and then you can wear it shoulder bag or crook of your arm bag, uh, wrist bag. Not really a shoulder bag, but those two ways. As you can see, I grew, and this bag is now three years old, and the Vachetta is not nearly as dark as this one, so this one has aged gracefully, and I think it's because that was my first, like, Louis Vuitton bag I wore it all the time, whereas this one I had, like, another bag to fall back on, so I wasn't, like, wear this all the time, and this is a less casual bag, like, it's still a casual bag, but it's more... It's less casual than like a never full. So my next bag I got, wait, the bag I got I think before I got the Speedy was this MCM bag because my mom saw that I was wearing this, the never full so much that she got me this MCM tote bag because she's like you're gonna wear out that bag you need another bag and I'm like I don't like red, <laughs> but I still wore it because I didn't want to wear out my Louis Vuitton and yeah. So this is another bag that I got just so I wouldn't wear out the Louis, the Never Full because I was wearing it out like I said before. Next bag, or I guess small leather good oh gosh well I got this it is a I went to the Gucci Garden store in Florence and this is actually my first oh wait never mind I had the other Gucci um SLG but this is my first card holder that I ever got um this is because small bags were coming in style so I was like oh I need to get a card whatever because it's cheaper than getting a small wallet and all you really need when you're getting something that small is cards so this is the Gucci Gardens um, card holder it's in the Florence canvas I don't know apparently this is like a pattern that's only in Florence I really don't know they're telling me about it I really can't remember but I do know it has something to do with Florence so that's why I got it <laughs> in this color because it's not quite my taste but it does stand out in your purse which is nice and I wore this one to death too to be honest looking at it it's like girl you've been through a lot to be a limited edition item <laughs> also while I was in Italy I got my second Gucci bag so this one is a cult favorite <laughs> I can tell you that. Can you guess what it is? And I keep all my bags like in the dust bag and stuff and like in the box when they're not in use. So like you probably can already guess what it is. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. Oops. Dun 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 dun. So this is the Gucci Dionysus bag, Dionysus, Dionysus, one of those two. Um, I got it in the small, small, yeah, in the small because it only comes small and large. And then they had like an extra large, but they just continued it. And they also have a wallet on the chain, but I think this is the small. Yeah, because they have wallet on a chain, mini, small, and large. That's the sizes. Okay, so this is the small, and it's in the black suede. Um, I love the horseshoe with the snake heads, so, or the lion heads. Why did I say snake heads? Lion heads. Um, it has the little button closure, and then this has three compartments on the inside. So, it has the zipper or I guess four technically has a zipper middle compartment like I said I always have something so this is from the Houston Rockets game then I have has this compartment and this compartment and it's they're like suede lined compartments this stuff in this one this goes in that 
that one. And then it also has this flap. I never use the flap. But yeah, that is this one. So I got this one for my 20th birthday. I did help pay for this one. So I put the majority money down on this. So not all of it, but majority I paid for this back. So next, we have another item that me and my mom share. It is the fate oops the favorite mm so this is the bag that my mom got when way back when now it's discontinued i think is what i'm hearing but she got this bag back when i turned 18 so that first trip we took to paris she got this i got the never full and i really like it because it has like the little shoulder strap but then it also has this long Vachetta leather crossbody strap and my mom has um another canvas strap now we use well, she doesn't like it but I use it when I use this bag too and I should have got that but it's just a regular canvas strap like canvas strap ring little clips on each side you know what it looks like so that this is the last not new bag that I have to show you. So I technically didn't get this bag, but me and my mom do share it because the reason why we share it is because she never wears it. And I'm like, it's a perfectly good bag. This is a good size bag. It can hold a whole bunch in it, actually. Like, it's just one big compartment in there. It's burgundy, I think, interior bur burla. No. I don't know what the, the color name is. I'm just making stuff up at this point. But it's one big compartment. And then it has one little flap. She still actually has the, the little things in here. So I'll let you know. It's um, the favorite MM in the monogram print, of course. And the style code is M40718. And it is Kodak code Fat. <laughs> Coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, man-made lining. So, I don't know, I guess that means synthetic lining. I don't know what that means. But, that is what this is. We have the most exciting things. Oh, actually, no. This is not an unboxing. This is just, I just kept it in a box and it, it went with that. So next, for Christmas, my grandma gave me a gift card. So I got my third SLG that I own. And I got myself the Zippy Coin purse. Because I, like I said, I needed a small wallet. And I wanted a Louis Vuitton wallet because I have two Louis Vuitton bags now. So I was like, I need a wallet. Like, duh. It only makes sense. Like, how am I carrying around Michael Kors wallet, Gucci wallet? If I don't have one to match my Louis Vuitton bags. So, with the gift card my grandma got me for Christmas, gave me for Christmas, I got this. And we were in Houston, so I just went to the Galleria and he had this so i got this next which one should i open next because the la these last three unboxings let me tell you they are freaking hard to find like when i tell you they are hard to find they are hard to freaking find you have to stock the website. You have to be diligent. I like, which one was it? This one, I literally had tears in my eyes when I saw a place in cart on the website. <laughs> like, so hard to find, I tell you. I'm like, I've never seen anything so expensive, so hard to freaking find. It's insane. But, okay, so I think I'm going to start with this one and leave those two for last so we have am i gonna pull open the ribbon i guess so so this one had to stalk the website for at first i didn't even know this existed and i didn't really necessarily want this until i got both of those because like i tell you got a match right so this was hard to come by i like I had to end up calling the customer service line 
to get this because I had to do a pre-order and then you had to wait for it to become available for them to then send you out send it out to you I was like I've never done this before but okay it makes sense to me hopefully it freaking works then I start watching YouTube videos about people whose orders got canceled I'm like they can they can do that like I'm willing to wait whenever like I'm good you don't need to cancel my order but apparently they cancel your order so if you ever pre-order and you don't get it I think the girl said within 20 days they cancel it so thank god I got this before 20 days and their shipping takes so long I'm like if I would spend this much money on any other website I would get it next day I, it don't, I don't have to wait 7 to 10 business days to get my order when you're spending thousands of dollars <laughs> on things. Like, it doesn't even make sense. But, whatever. That's neither here nor there now because guess what? I got my stuff. So anyway, <laughs> let me just show you what I got. Da, da, da. And you see this one? I'll tell you about that later. So let me just show you what I got. Um... I don't even. I can't even take the freaking ribbon off. Anyway, dun dun dun. Here she is in all her beauty. And what I got was or is the card holder in the reverse monogram. What I I don't know I've ever I guess I've never had a Louis Vuitton card holder but this is like so straight and it seems like it's really wide I didn't put it against oh yeah it is definitely wider than my Gucci one okay I knew it wasn't crazy but like this is a one so this me and my mom is actually gonna share I got it for her technically for her Mother's Day gift. Um, even though she said she didn't want anything, but then she saw this, she's like, oh, you can get that for me for a Mother's Day gift. I'm like, okay. Anyway, we're sharing it, so it's both of ours. I bought it. <laughs> um, and it goes with these bags that you have behind me. I have behind me, so that already gives you an idea of what they are. Next up is, hmm, I'll do this one next. So we'll go back to chronological order. I did technically, we did technically get this one before that one. So this one is for me and my mom to share again. She bought this, I didn't, but it's a bag that I really like. So we're gonna share it. <laughs> um, but it doesn't make sense to get two of them, of course, for the price. So I have a feeling, I don't know, that I'll be wearing it more, but you will see. So this bag did come in a ribbon, but the ribbon, which I hear and know that they don't do that all the time anymore. And we ordered all these things from online, so it doesn't have anything to do with like online versus the store, I don't think. Maybe this one might have came from the store because it was like a pre-order kind of situation. I don't know how that works. But this came straight from online. And it is, dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I do that every time I open it up. The, you can already tell, Pouchette Matisse, oops, the Pouchette, the Pouchette Matisse and the reverse monogram, hence why. Got the reverse monogram card holder. Yay. Okay. So. This is what it looks like. It has a zipper on the back. And then it has the S-lock closure. There we go. I guess it's the new version. I don't really know what all that, like the canvas goes down longer. I mean, obviously the new version got it in I think 2020 we got this um has the strap and the reverse monogram and then it has the back section the middle section and the front section it's lined with 
the microfiber suede. Um, it's really cute. I haven't got to wear it because of quarantine, but it's cute. Can't wait. I will be wearing it a lot. I will say it's kind of hard to close when there's nothing in it. <laughs> I'm trying to close it right now. Okay, there we go. Next up, last but surely not least, the bath that made me cry <laughs> when I saw Glaze and Card. Because I literally, when I tell you I was stalking that website, I was at work clicking on the Louis Vuitton app, clicking on my wish list, clicking on the back. I was like, call for availability. <sighs> it's like so annoying. Um, but I fixed myself. Getting a little hype over here call for availability call for availability call for availability like I didn't have the money and it was available for like a week straight get the money for the bag can't find it anywhere so this one another cult favorite I mean these are all cult favorites honestly oh those are the receipts for the other stuff that I bought so what we have here, you probably can already tell what it is, another reverse monogram piece and it is the Palm Springs Mini. I love this bag so much. Literally cried. When I tell you tear, a tear drop came out of my eye when I saw it. It was the most agonizing wait for this bag. It was to the point where I was like, Oh, like maybe like somebody else got it before I got it like maybe um they said they had enough available to place in cart but then somebody else snagged it like they end up trying to ship out the orders and they don't have enough I don't know but I just like I need the bag like forget the money I need the bag so this is my absolute favorite I think I already put stuffing in it I put airbags in it I'm pretty sure yeah I stuffed this one I've already opened this one because as you see, it didn't come with a ribbon. So that was the whole ribbon situation that people have been talking about. They all don't come with ribbons. They did a price increase. This bag is now, uh, what is it? It's two, th I know it's 2,100. Cause this bag is 2,000 now too. It didn't used to be 2,000. It used to be like in the high 1,000s. Um, hold on, let me look it up. So this bag is 2140 US dollars. The Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram is now $2,050. I want to say my mom might have gotten it when it was $1,990. Maybe she got it before it went to the $2,050. I want to say she got it before the price increase because I got this one right after the make price increase where I think she got that one like a little bit before but she definitely got it didn't get it before like last year's price increase so I think she got like 1,900 because I was like whoa it didn't used to be that much money <laughs> and now it is or maybe she got it at $2,010 and it's 2,050 now I don't know it does, is there a seat in there let me see Maybe the receipt will tell us. Or sometimes it doesn't. Nope, it just says she used her smartphone to buy it. Because this is the gift receipt. Do they only send it to you as a gift receipt? So I don't know exactly how much it was when she bought it. But I will tell you that, yeah, none of these say the prices on them. 
thought they came with the prices. Maybe that's only if you buy it in store. They're like, you bought it online, you should know how much it costs. Yeah, just says web. And that I use PayPal. Anyway. So this concludes my luxury bag haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out the other videos that I have on my channel while you're at it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And tell me what you think and what else that you want to see. Other than that, bye!